Phil Lindemann with your midday news on Crystal 93. Starting today, fire danger is low in Summit County after more than an inch of rain locally this week. That's the most in one week since late June, and we've got more on the way. Low fire danger does not change stage one fire restrictions. Open fires in the backcountry are still banned countywide. Campfires are allowed at campgrounds in a fire ring and at backyard fire pits with a permit. A Kremlin man with a history of illegal slash burns has pleaded guilty to attempted arson. Sky High News reports Christopher Lentz Mayer faces up to 90 days in jail for unattended slash burns last October, soon after the East Troublesome Fire ravaged Grand County. He pleaded not guilty to 12 counts of felony arson in May and then took a plea deal this week. His wife is a district attorney in Denver. Starting August 1st, plastic bags will be outlawed in Dillon. Town Council this week upheld a decision from earlier this year to ban plastic bags at grocery stores and restaurants. Council had the option to delay until next year following a recent statewide law banning plastic by next September. Local policymakers met this week to brainstorm solutions for affordable workforce housing. The problem is nothing new in the high country, but Commissioner Tamara Pogue says organic solutions of the past cannot keep up with a steamrolling real estate market, where average condo price is over a half million dollars, up 32% since 2018, and average home price is $1.3 million, up 125%. One of the overarching themes I've heard today is that you have to have a pipeline of opportunities to create a community. And so that means, you know, for the first timer, in Summit County who's going to turn on the lift, that person needs a place to live. For the person that's decided, you know, that, that they're going to get married here, that person needs a place to live. For the family that's going to have kids, that person needs a, a place to live. And there needs to be some upward mobility to help protect and create a middle class in Summit County. The housing crunch is stifling entry-level work at restaurants and retail and even forcing emergency responders to live as far as Montrose. At Summit Fire and EMS, 40% of employees do not live in Summit. At Red, White, and Blue Fire in Breck, 75% of personnel live elsewhere. One of the highest rates ever, Deputy Chief Drew Hone. It goes to the cost of living problem, and uh, truly our folks can't afford to live in Summit County. It is the same story at the Sheriff's Office, too, where one in three deputies commute from outside the county. In sports, the Rockies open a weekend series with the Dodgers tonight at 810. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, Copper Mountain is hosting a free disc golf tournament this Sunday starting at 930. Players get one round each with prizes for first through third. It's a good beginner to intermediate tournament. Sign up online at coppercolorado.com. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.